Hello and welcome back Myth Junkies. This is Mama Mythos and this time we're going to uncover one of the most terrifying creatures of apocalyptic proportions, Behemoth. If this is your first time here and you're into mythology of all shapes and sizes, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and share it amongst your family and friends. Now let's get a move on before the beast destroys us all. Whether you've heard of Behemoth or not, he's been around for centuries. Behemoth is a beast originally mentioned in the Bible by Job. You can find it in Job 40 lines 15 to 24. It is considered the primal unconquerable monster of the land. It's also said that it eats grass, but in almost every example of pop culture, it seems to be hungry for chaos and more like a carnivore than a big mean herbivore. The following is the scripture itself. Behold now behemoth, which I made with thee. He eateth grass as an ox. Lo now his strength is in his loins, and his force is in the navel of his belly. He moveth his tail like a cedar. The sinews of his stones are wrapped together. His bones are as strong pieces of brass. His bones are like bars of iron. He is the chief of the ways of God. He that made him can make his sword to approach unto him. Surely the mountains bring him forth food where all the beasts of the field play. He lieth under the shady trees in the covert of the reed and fence. The shady trees cover him with their shadow. The willows of the brook compass him about. Behold, he drinketh up a river, and hasteth not, he trusteth that he can draw up Jordan into his mouth. He taketh it with his eyes, his nose pierceth through snares. Who else joined Behemoth in causing chaos to the world? The Leviathan is a sea monster whose realm is within the abyss, while Behemoth is the monster of the land. Leviathan is often mentioned alongside Behemoth as his opponent of the opposite element. Behemoth and the sea monster Leviathan were used to demonstrate the futility of questioning God, who alone created these beings and who alone can capture them. They are also described as being chaos monsters destroyed by the deity at the time of creation. A Jewish rabbinic legend describes a great battle, like I guess a kaiju battle, which will take place between them at the end of time. They will interlock with one another and engage in combat. With his horns, the behemoth will gore with strength. The fish leviathan will leap to meet him with his fins, with power. Their creator will approach them with his mighty sword and slay them both. It goes without saying, but I will definitely be working on a video about Leviathan in the near future. So what kind of animal would Behemoth be? If we're talking about the biological attributes as we know of today, the suggestions that have been made on the true identity of Behemoth is pretty much hit or miss. From being either a prehistoric dinosaur like a sauropod, or another large herbivore like a hippo, rhinoceros, or a type of ox. It's really anyone's guess what this horrifying creature could have been. It probably could have even been an auroch, which is an extinct species of large ox. Did you know that every year Behemoth has his own mythological holiday? Well, it's not like a holiday, but this is pretty interesting anyways. Behemoth's strength reaches its peak on the summer solstice of every solar year, around the 21st of June. At this time of year, Behemoth lets out a loud roar that makes all animals tremble with fear, and thus renders them less ferocious for a whole year. As a result, weak animals live in safety away from the reach of wild animals. This mythical phenomenon is shown as an example of divine mercy and goodness. Without Behemoth's roar, traditions narrate that animals would grow more wild and ferocious, and hence go around butchering each other and humans. So of course, with a little bit of Bible comes a little bit of mention within demonology. At least that's where my research has led us. Behemoth is also within the Dictionnaire Infernal. As a soldier of Satan, usually depicted as an elephant with a big round belly, stomping around on two feet. He was the infernal watchman and also presided over the gluttonous banquets and feasts. It is said that he also enjoyed a certain renown for his own voice, being regarded as hell's official demonic singer. I wonder what kind of death metal they have down there. 
I guess I should probably mention that Behemoth is the name of a death metal band. Might be worth checking out. Well, here we go guys, my favorite Behemoth. I'd be a fool not to choose Final Fantasy as having the most long-standing and most ferocious examples of Behemoth. The Behemoth has various tiers of size, strength, and power within the series. From his attitude to his meteor blast, it's no wonder Behemoth is a recurring monster that Square Enix continues to improve and impress. Here we are guys, the end of another video. There's so much more that I want to show you guys and I promise not to hold out on you. From all across the world, mythology continues to amaze us and encourage us to dig deeper for those nuggets of pure gold information. Pop culture is the one thing closest to today's technology that allows us to continue to hold on to it. So it's my pleasure to bridge the gap and bring these videos to life. If you like what you've seen and just plain shook by what you've heard, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. I'll see you guys next time, and thank you for once again letting Mama break down the mythos.